Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at string silencers on traditional archery gear. How much of a difference does it make? So I'm going to uh, show you, I've got uh, Tachyon Archery sent me their Flemish bow string and it is uh, a 60 inch string that we're going to put on uh, my Black Hunter and it's set for, it's 16 strands, I think it's B97 and they have rabbit fur silencers on here. So we're gonna try that out, but I'm gonna show you, try to show you today the difference between an unsilenced string and a silent string. And I think it's gonna be pretty dramatic, I think, but we're gonna see. I don't have the greatest technology to do this, but we're gonna take, take a look at the, the noise, look at the audio levels and stuff like that, and the string dampening, if you will, which helps with the silencing. So stay tuned, hit that like and subscribe. Okay, so this is the uh, the new st bow string from Tachyon Archery. It looks like it's well made together. It's pre-waxed. Looks pretty good. It's got the rabbit fur on here. I haven't shot any with rabbit fur. I know a lot of people use different things. Uh, and most of the time I use the cat whiskers. This rabbit fur is very soft and feels like weight. Now there's some thickness where it's, where I guess the hide must be tied on to there. So however they attach the string. So I'm sure there's some weight to the string. But this does look uh, pretty good the way they've, uh, put the string together. Looks like it's good quality. It is served up. I don't have a knock on here right now. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it without the knock just to show you the difference in both the, hopefully the dampening. You'll see the difference in how much it dampens. These silencers will dampen your bow as well as the audio difference. Here's my daughter shooting the unsilenced bow string. Now let's move the mic in a little closer. Now she's shooting the tachyon bowstring with the rabbit fur silencers. And once again with a mic closer. So you can definitely see the difference. The recording on top is when we shot it without the silencer, with no silencers on the string, and the bottom one was with the tachyon string that had the rabbit fur silencers on there. And you can see the dramatic difference, just the, the size of it. And if you notice both shots, it was pretty much no noise right before the shot. You'll see how it's very flat right before the, the big burst. And you see how quickly the silencers quiet the noise down. Whereas that entire time on that top line there, you're still hearing noise from that, that string. And that's kind of what we're seeing from the audio perspective. So you can see it definitely quiets things down a lot quicker. It muffles it a little quicker and, and you don't have that, you know, vibration that you had in the bow. I'm going to go ahead and play those two clips back to back. The first one without the silencers, the second one with the silencers, and put them kind of close together so you can really hear that difference. So in this side by side, it's clear to see how much vibration there is in the unsilenced bowstring. And really, some even go so far as to say that the silencers actually extend the longevity of the bow itself because that's that much less time the bow's vibrating and wearing, if you will, uh, once the string is silenced. Beautiful. It's pretty cool with the rabbit fur, I think. Now, it's, you know, when it first started shooting, some of the little hair pieces would come off after you shot, but it seemed to, that seemed to slow down quite a bit now. So it's probably just a couple of loose ones that are in there to begin with. And then once those pop off, and maybe over time, more of these will come loose. I think it's effective. It looks pretty cool. You know, as far as the, how the bow is made, it looks like it's good quality string. It's served very well. Like I said, I still got to put a knock on here. But the Tachyon string is pretty good. You can check it out on Amazon. I'll put a link down below for it. But hopefully you kind of see between these video shots here, kind of, you know, just how, how much it does silence a bow to have silencers or some kind. And anyway, these, the rabbit fur style here is pretty effective. Uh, I usually use cat whiskers up to this. This is my first time using rabbit fur. But the cat whiskers have always been effective and, and puffs and different things. And, and just to kind of give you an example, years ago, I was in Florida and I was hunting some pigs, some wild pigs. And a group of them comes running in 15 yards. And I pulled back and I shot and the pigs didn't make a noise and it was 15 yards and back then i was so on because i was a lot younger and i mean i was on 
and uh, I just don't know uh, how I could have missed. None of them, there's five of them, they're just all feeding on acorns. I put a second arrow on, I draw back, nothing, didn't hear a noise, didn't see, I, I don't know what's going on. I put a third arrow on, I draw back, and this time the pig goes, and goes right back to just feeding. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? Did I just nick its back? Am I that far off? What's going on? And at that time, I used all camo everything on my ears, down to fletching and everything. I don't do that anymore. I like to have bright feathers so I can see where that air is going. Especially if you're not, if you're using Illuminati, it's a different story. But if you're not using a lighted knock, I want to see where the air goes. It was a black pig and I had dark arrows. Fourth arrow on, draw back, shoot, pig. When I finally got down from the tree, I had four arrows in the ground in a group that tight, everyone on bloodstained. And if I didn't get that, that pig just would have fell right over if I just waited, gave it enough time. I ended up shooting another pig and then they all scattered. So I figured I might as well shoot another one right in the head. If I did nothing, that pig just would have fell over in probably another minute just from feeding from blood loss because four arrows were right there. But I had enough, it was quiet enough that I got four shots with five pigs right down there below me. So silencing your strings definitely helps. If you're not hunting, it's still nice to have it quieter because that like, like whamp, that loud, you know, that whomp that you hear that bow every time without the silencers makes a difference. So even just a convenience factor, if you're not a hunter, if you just like the target shoot, they're just nice to have just because it quiets that thump sound down a little bit. So anyway, I hope you got something out of it and saw the difference with, with and without the, the silencers on there. So just hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.